you know, obviously there's somebody there has got to turn the guy, make him, you know what I mean, things like that. How much have y'all, in, in I guess gr the group, hotel defense meetings, if y'all talked about that? About I wouldn't say we spent so much time about it. Um, we played a great, we played a great offense that averaged 55 points a game. And uh, I think we played great team defense. So big plays like that, small assignments were made that big play happen. But uh, you really, you really put a lot of focus on it. But then it's something where it's not a big teaching moment, other than it's man-to-man -man coverage. You got to yeah. be in the right place. So there's not much to be said about it. So um, you know, that's just something where you're just going to have to take another step. And, uh, Do you feel like you're? I mean, you guys are back to number three in the polls this week. Do you feel like you're on a very good football team? What, what does it feel like from week to week as you're living this? Obviously, last week was a big hump. Yeah, you know? it's just a great experience to like be a part of this ongoing. Um, it feels like just a, like a path, like start high and then keep going and going and going yeah. to see where you are the rest of the season. So it's just fun to be a part of. Um, being part of great teams is always awesome. I figured it would be. I wouldn't say we cleaned up any fits. Um, we've always had the same assignments. Tackling, we've just put more emphasis on it. Um, I wouldn't say our system has changed. We've always had the same system. We just um, kind of focused a little bit more on it because that's what we've struggled um, first few games. But uh, yeah, we put a lot of emphasis on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've gotten better reading my keys. Um, I think I've just playing in there, getting more reps and reps. Uh, you feel more comfortable um, overall. Um, you see formations, recognize what's coming. Um, it's just something that through repetition you get better and better with. So. Pete, could you could you believe on that fourth down play, they ran what they ran? I mean. Coach Meyer told us that the talk on the headphones between the defense coaches was they expected his own read there, <laughs> and and they do it. I mean, meanwhile, yeah. Trace McSorley I was definitely has set a school record, you know. In the meantime, yet he doesn't end up with a ball in his hands. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. and number two, y'all had almost a perfect call. Yeah, we did. We had a the perfect call for that uh, situation. Um, we were in a, more of a pass passing right. um, down. Nickel. So you were in a nickel, right? I mean, yeah. Um, so it was something where I had the back and then Malik had the spy, but then he motioned the other side. So Malik now had the back and I had the spy. So um, it put us out of position. So they did a good job of that. But I was definitely not expecting his own read. I was yeah. expecting something like the quarterback, but they knew we were probably keying that a lot. So I, I wouldn't say it was a bad play call. Although well, yeah, but when Jay Shaw, exactly, but Jay Shaw and Cornell, you know, obviously yeah, he, engaged the guard. Yeah, the tackle was, couldn't chase Chase, pardon yeah. the expression. Mm -hmm. And she was up through there like, I mean, have you ever seen a play almost work that perfectly? It, it worked out perfectly, yeah. yeah. We kind of played the quarterback run, those stunts that we had for, from both the tackle and the end. Yeah. It worked out perfectly, yeah, in that situation. Thanks, man. Yep, thank you. Pete, I'm sorry if somebody asked you this earlier. I'm sure they did, but is this the was that the best overall performance for the linebackers so far this year on Saturday night? I would say so, yeah, especially for a big game like that. I feel like we all graded out champion. Um, we just did a great job all around, did a lot better tackling and um, focusing on the job. Did you guys need a performance like that? You know, we've asked you seemingly every week you're out here about the big plays and all that stuff. Yeah. Did you need, did you guys ever feel like you needed a game to kind of validate that progress and show? I think we did, especially from the games in the past, not really performing as best as we could, having a game like that to kind of step through, break through that barrier, especially with a big big game like Penn State, yeah. playing in Happy Valley, it was it was a big step. So yeah, I'm happy it came yeah, out like that. Much you read social media or watch TV or whatever, but do you ever get annoyed by people coming down on the linebackers? It seems to be like a hot button thing. Yeah. I think that's the general gripe from the fan base right now. Is it misguided and is it annoying to read? Oh, I'm not big on social media. I've seen a few things, but not. I'm not big on it. Um, so I don't really know. Probably You probably know a little bit more about it than I do. Um, but yeah, it would be a little annoying, although I haven't seen it that much. Um, not a big Twitter or Whatever that when, is. when they when people say that the linebackers are underperforming this year, mm -hmm. what is your reaction to that, and is that a misguided view? I think that there's a lot of things that outside sources don't know. Um, they see things that aren't exactly true. They expect things out of players that are not necessarily expected. Um, I, I think it's 
confusing why somebody would all, like come to a conclusion and tweet something when they don't know what's going on on the inside. So that it's just confusing to me. I I think it's kind of humorous sometimes, but um, it's just the way that the way that goes. What would be some of those things? I mean, you know, maybe without going into too great a detail, but that you see that we don't see and the general public doesn't see that you can say, hey, you know chill out we got this and you know this is kind of what's going on and this is why you know maybe some of the things that are happening would be happening um i just think that we're going through practice we're doing these things it's it's kind of a hard question to answer um we're just doing our thing it's not people saying those things it's, kind of, it's hard for us to respond to i guess hey pete it's you, hard. kind of jumping off his question you talked about how much progress you guys showed in that game your defensive coaches are saying that this defense is making more progress than is typical of a team at this point in the season. Mm -hmm. How much of the, the depth and the, and the quality have we seen from you guys? How close are you to showing what your potential is? Well, I think uh, Penn State was a big start. Um, Coach Shiano always mentions that there was always a uh, big improvement um, needed. Um, he said he was reading off stats in one of our meetings and he was like, we did this, this is excellent, but then this also happened. Um, we did. We had a good third down percentage, but then there's other things that happened that what weren't necessarily good. So um, we have we have a goal of not they can't get past 100 yards rushing, and their quarterback had more than that alone. So that's something that was not good. So just I don't know, kind of going forward. Uh, there's always there's always room for improvement. Well, you said it was a good start. That yeah. implies that you think that the potential. I think the potential really? is great, yeah. I think that there's great potential, um, but I think it's, I wouldn't necessarily say early in the season, although kind of, um, but definitely I would say that it's big. It's uh, and, uh, last always, question. Uh, longer runs where he would, you know, like QB draws where there's nobody in, like, the middle of the field. Is that, did you guys just get out schemed on those? Is that what? Uh, we didn't. There were our first and second down um coverages weren't really didn't have spies in them so um, it was it when it came to our third down and some second downs when it was long we'd have a spy player on them so those first second down plays we didn't have a spy so it would open up usually we're not not everybody scrambles like that he does so we can't we can't really prep for that um, we've changed a little bit this week um, just because Ramsey he's a big scrambler um, kind of like McSorley McSor is but um, those, yeah, those first and down coverages we didn't have. Coming off Penn people. State, I mean, is it is it kind of hard to get up? You know, not to take anything away from Indiana, but I mean, just everything that you went through, physical, mental, over there in Happy Valley. Uh, what's the preparation been like this week? And are you finding it a little more difficult maybe to get as excited about this weekend's games maybe you got last weekend? Well, personally, I'm playing a team from back home, so <laughs> it's, it's big for me. Um, but. As something that happened last year, we lost to Iowa after a Penn State game, so that's obviously something that's going to stick with us. So I wouldn't necessarily say that we're still thinking about Penn State, congratulating ourselves about that. We're definitely moving on very well um, just because of what happened in the past. And we've definitely had a tough week this week as far as uh, Tuesday and Wednesday practices, so I think we'll definitely be ready. And I wouldn't say there's any like lack of emotion going into this game. I think we're all pretty ready and ready to go.